If you get nervous, just picture the audience naked and slide those hot dogs down your throat. Everyone knows the same. It's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. Well, in this case, it's all fun and games until someone chokes, or even worse, dies. Here are 10 times when eating contests have gone terribly wrong. Hot dog eating contests gone wrong. I won't rest until I've gotten a hot dog. Oh, this is a cemetery. Hot dog eating contests may be the most popular form of eating contests in America. The standard food battle has a 10 minute time where participants attempt to scarf down as many plain wiener filled buns before the stopwatch hits zero. Competitors line up to annihilate a mound of hot dogs in hopes of winning prize money or to raise funds for their supporting charities. However, a 20 year old med student from Tufts University choked during a hot dog charity eating competition being held off campus. Medical crews tried to revive the varsity lacrosse player on the scene but were unsuccessful. Paramedics rushed the contestant to two different hospitals where she sadly died from her injury. The notorious Joey Chestnut holds the record for 75 hot dogs devoured in under 10 minutes. Don't know what's inside of you. Hot dog! Mr. Chestnut gobbles more hot dogs during competition than the average American eats in a single year. It's rare for such tragic events to occur during an odd but fun competition. Unluckily, a 47-year-old South Dakotan man also passed away from clogging his airways during a hot dog eating competition in 2014. Training hurts. Welcome to the World Hot Dog Eating Championship Competition. Can you imagine eating so much that you suffer from arthritis in the jaw? Well, this happened to Japanese native Takeru Kobayashi. Kobayashi, a champion eater, set a world record back in 2001 where he crushed the previous title by double. He stuffed 50 hot dogs down his throat during the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Witnessing these eating athletes is not for those with weak stomachs. The 2001 world record setter scarfed down the meaty wiener, then proceeded to dip the bun in a cup of water. He then wrings the bun out before inhaling the soaking wet bread. Kobayashi told reporters that his stomach expands so vastly that it pushes up against his lung, which leaves him short-winded. Had several meals and lapsed into a food coma. Fast forward to 2007, Kobayashi placed second at the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. He was defeated by Joey Chestnut, of course. Days after the events, he released that he had arthritis in his jaw due to extensive training. The former record setter could not open his mouth without causing serious discomfort, not to mention the trouble swallowing the food. What he thought was minor damage turned out to be a temporomandular joint disorder. He abused his jaw muscles by trying to munch as much food as possible in a single sitting. Watch out for that corn on the cob. Cookie! Ah, oh, he wants a cookie! Oh, I love the Muppets! While on the topic of jaw injuries, Edward Jarvis, the real-life cookie monster, experienced locked jaw during a sweet corn eating contest. Nicknamed Edward Cookie Jarvis, the professional eater was the most decorated title holder in the world for his ability to shove food down his throat. The pinnacle moments of his career were from 2001 and 2006, where he gained an absurd amount of weight and championships. The day before his jaw injury, he partook in a deep-fried asparagus eating contest, which is probably not the best training strategy for the cookie monster. Aren't you going to stop? <laughs> the sweet corn eating competition took place in West Palm Beach, Florida, where contenders took to the stage to see how many ears of corn they could inhale before they tapped out. Edward was on his 10th stalk of sweet corn when his jaw locked up. The speed eater started to take more minor nibbles while tearing each piece into smaller bits to keep eating. Regardless of the damage caused to his jaw, he was crowned the champion. You'd think this was the end of his eating racing days, but it wasn't. However, after reaching a point in his life where he could no longer tie his own shoelaces, the title holder became the retired cookie monster. Carolina Reaper Pepper Challenge. It is the world's hottest pepper measuring 401.5 times hotter than Tabasco sauce. Most of you probably remember the viral YouTube YouTube video where two girls attempted to eat the world's hottest pepper. That's right, the Carolina Reaper pepper. These scalding peppers pack a punch of over 2 million units on the Scoville chart. Let's put this level of heat into perspective. The typical cayenne pepper that you find in your seasoning collections ranges from between 25,000 to 50,000. In a 2016 footage, Sabrina and Lizzie each bite into these deadly peppers. You can see the instant regret on both of their faces immediately. Then they made their first mistake. With their mouths on fire, the two girls decided to chug water. Lizzie, the channel's host, makes the more intelligent decision at that moment to eat bread. Her friend, who's appeared in many of Lizzie's videos, looked like she had the worst of it. Sabrina could not seem to catch her breath. Yes! A mother appeared in the clip and handed her multiple puffers, but she could not inhale them. After hysterically crying and screaming, she laid into a bed and looked like she had been put on oxygen. During that time, Lizzie started to cough or vomit up blood. Their skin appeared red from the heat of the Carolina Reaper peppers ascending down their esophagus. These two YouTubers' symptoms did not look fun for anyone during the challenge. After such a painful experience, do you think they learned their lessons about these types of challenges? Eh, uh, no. They continued their food challenges, hoping to create another viral sensation that the internet would eat up. That's not hot enough? I ordered my hot sauce an hour ago. Back 
on the topic of eating the hottest whatever challenge on the internet, you could spend years watching the content of people trying to consume the hottest peppers, chicken wings, or hot sauces. The following clip is of a man who claims he has immense pain tolerance for spicy food. His personal challenge begins with a YouTuber ordering the atomic chicken wings from Wingstop, the hottest wings on their menu. He grabs the first wing and takes a bite to show his strength. As he wipes the sauce from his lips, the content creator showcases his collection of hot sauces. His show and tell presentation begins with the store-bought habanero pepper spice that he claims is not hot enough. Next is the Tabasco habanero sauce, which isn't spicy enough for this heat connoisseur. Next, he shows off his college favorite, Dave's Insanity Sauce, which almost sent him to the hospital back in the day. Then, it's Satan's Blood, which is rated 800,000 Scoville heat units. Finally, is his newest addition, Mad Dog 357, the spiciest hot sauce you can buy on the internet, claimed to be 9 million SHU. Do you have the guts to stomach this? Well, do you, punk? The challenge begins, and he dabbles each hot sauce on a new wing one by one, even drinking the supermarket's habanero sauce, showing his strengths, he does not break a sweat until Satan's blood. The brave man attempts Mad Dog 357. His latex gloves are on and he smears the sauce onto the first half of the wing. The first bite of the hottest hot sauce you can buy on the internet. The confusion appears on his face and he questions, that's the hottest sauce out there? He continues for a second bite because he couldn't believe the first one was not that spicy. After his second bite, the gloves are off as he processes what he has just done. He douses his mouth with a gallon of milk until he thinks he'll be all right. Turns out, the poor man drove himself to the emergency room at two o'clock in the morning with severe stomach pain. Injuries, just part of the game. Sonia Thomas is without any question the greatest chicken wing eater alive today. Next up is Sonia Thomas, AKA the Black Widow. And no, she is not referring to herself as the Marvel superhero. The professional speed eater compares herself to a Black Widow spider as she wants to crush her male competitors by telling herself to eat more and faster than the men. She holds many titles from chicken wing eating contests to pizza competitions. Believe it or not, she beat Ed Cookie Jarvis in the 2004 Bachi pizza eating competition by scarfing down six and a half slices of pizza in 15 minutes. It's the best pizza in the neighborhood. The infamous Ed could only finish five portions. Obtaining this title did not come easy for the Black Widow. She left the contest with a sore jaw and a cut on the roof of her mouth. However, these injuries would not stop her. Sonia was an eating machine. She entered a shrimp eating race where she consumed six and a half pounds of shrimp in 10 minutes. During this battle, she received a cut on her throat. Can you imagine having a cut in your throat? Especially Especially when your job is to swallow massive amounts of food. It wasn't something she could just deal with on her own. She sustained a pharyngeal abrasion that felt like eating pins with each bite. The Noodle Bowl Challenge. No way! This portion's huge! The Azumaya Sobo Shop in Morioka, Japan offers a daring challenge for any brave customer who steps foot inside the restaurant. The Wanko Sobo Bowl Challenge is all about downing as many noodles as you can. It comes with nine different side dishes and that's where they trick you. The rules are as follows. You cannot stop eating. Diners cannot get up from the table to take a break. The side dishes don't count as part of the challenge, but it's not a brilliant idea if you're trying to beat the record. You do not have to chew. The restaurant instructs it's best to swallow the noodles whole. When it's time to call it quits, eaters must cover the final bowl with the given lid or the server will quickly pour another portion of noodles in your bowl. Here you go. Now you're thinking about the record and who holds it. A local woman holds a record for completing 570 Wanko Sobo noodle bowls. This is extremely impressive as you can find lots of content from influencers who've tried to finish 100 bowls or more. Many have succeeded, while others have failed or gotten ill while trying. How many bowls do you think you could throw back? Dangerous chicken eating contest. Our special today is coho salmon. Sounds on disgusting. Do you have chicken fingers? America's favorite fried chicken restaurant can be found all over the globe. That's right, you can travel worldwide and find a KFC in 145 countries. This competition was based in Indonesia, which has 200 140 restaurants scattered across their tropical land. Each year, an elimination chicken wing eating contest occurs and the champion can bring home over $300,000, which would make the local winner a billionaire in Indonesian rupiah. That's good. It seems Indonesians may love fried chicken even more than Americans. Partakers had to down three chicken breasts in under five minutes. Unfortunately, during one such contest, a 54-year-old Javan man choked on his third piece. As each bystander attempted the Heimlich maneuver, none of them were successful at saving his life. The man passed away before medical professionals could get him to the local hospital. Speed and pancakes don't mix. We could all use a pancake or two. Imagine walking up to the podium to accept your trophy for knocking back the most pancakes in a speed eating contest. Well, this happened to 46-year-old Boris Izyev from Russia. During an annual holiday festival, the pancake eating contest was the main event at a local celebration. Mr. Izyev crushed his opponents with ease. He was proud of his accomplishments as the event host lifted his arms into the air as if he had just TKO'd a fellow heavyweight champion. Victory! 
The winner wiped the pancake crumbs from his face and began to trot across the stage to accept his trophy. Before he could get a grasp on his new award, he had dropped to his knees and lost consciousness. Bystanders attempted to give him CPR and even the medical crews were unsuccessful. Later in the hospital, doctors declared that he had a chunk of pancake lodged inside his trachea. It was a sorrowful day for all pancake speed eating lovers. Marshmallow Tragedy you have to swallow them? <laughs> That's what she said. The friendly neighbors in the Great White North have a yearly marshmallow eating competition at a local county fair in Ontario, Canada. Two twin sisters, Jennifer and Janet, were wandering the grounds when the eating contest coordinator approached the ladies. The event required two more challengers. Eating some marshmallows, care for one? Jennifer shut down the offer as she just wanted to enjoy her night. If she was going to get sick, it would be on the tilt world not in a marshmallow eating competition. On the other hand, her brave sister Janet accepted the challenge. Janet hopped on stage as her sister watched from the crowd. The guidelines of the marshmallow eating contest were simple. Each member had to stuff as many marshmallows into their mouths until they could no longer say the phrase chubby bunny. What was hilarious for the audience became increasingly unsettling for the eaters. Janet got through four cottony marshmallows before she called it quits. The sisters left the event before the winner was crowned. Just as they were exiting the grounds of the county fair, Janet fell to the ground as she was trying to gasp for air. Jennifer cried for help as nearby attendees heard the agonizing screams coming from her mouth. Kind Samaritans attempted first aid on the twin until the paramedics arrived on the scene. She was rushed to the closest hospital but was unfortunately able to be revived by doctors. This was a tragic event as no tasty treat should ever put your life in danger. Stick around, leave a comment, and check out another great video. Thanks for watching.